the spiking numbers in the uh, Arab society, especially lately, and uh, uh, now it's worth mentioning that we are going uh, towards the uh, municipal elections, the local elections in the Arab sector in the end of October. And uh, there is a feeling that uh, uh, this this event is, is increasing the increasing the the latest uh, events of a shooting. Uh, uh, mainly the the voice of the street, the people are very devastating. Uh, uh, I, I hear uh, uh, people saying uh, we were just a moment in this bakery and the shooting happened in, in, in hours of you know uh, kids leaving school or you know uh, on the rush hour. So it's it's uh, uh, um, a devastating thing. The voice of the street, uh, uh, the people uh, 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 um, calling for help, as we heard in the VTR uh, just now. The thing with Shimbet, it 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 it. it it doesn't really adding any hope for uh, the people. Uh, uh, maybe if we see some something in the numbers, you know, uh, cracking cases, uh, uh, we see uh, any advancing in, 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 in investigation, it might help. I want to bring Mayrav in on exactly this point and your thoughts specifically on reports that Shin Bet need to be brought in to try and combat this rampant crime. Is that the solution? Your thoughts? Well, the Shin Bet of, of course can help, but the problem is the um, authorities of using the technologies of the Shin Bet inside of Israel against the um, Arab civilians or against Israeli civilians in general. What the Shin Bet can do in the territories for terrorists, you know, to capture terrorists, it's not uh, something that they can do to, towards uh, Israeli citizens. So if they bring the Shin Bet, it's not. Nice, but without solving the the problem of their responsibilities, they they can't help. They can't do not, something that the police can't do themselves. And why is it, Mayra, that police have not been able to contain the situation? Well, number of reasons. First of all, I think that it's. Um, um, uh, it's a process that has to engage all kind of government uh, ministries. It's not only the enforcement law. It's about education. It's about health. It's about um, um, joining the Arab uh, leadership to, uh, in in order to to find an, another ways to for, to uh, um, resolve conflicts other than violence. Besides that, there is a problem of not resolving in enough uh, murders. The percentage of resolving the murders in the Arab society are very low. So if you don't, uh, if the government will not take a government decision with the task uh, forces and joint uh, teams working together with all the uh, tools that the government has, it's not going to resolve in the near future. And that's where I want to bring Nasri in. What kind of role do the local community have right now in helping to combat crime? What is your sense? What are you hearing on the ground? Briefly, please. Um, uh, we should mention that uh, um, Mirav just mentioned, uh, uh, let's say, Knesset members, Arab Knesset members. But uh, uh, one of the uh, leading uh, uh, ones, Ayman Oda, he got a call from the uh, yeah. Knesset security uh, officer telling him, uh, your life is in danger. Sure. So uh, who else uh, uh, can make a step? Very briefly, your parting shots may arrive. Exactly what is the step that you would take right now to help make Israelis and Arab communities feel safe? Very briefly. First of all, the government should take a decision to uh, to establish these task forces. Besides that, in the very immediate steps, it's... Um, uh, when a murder occurs, do not pollute the murder scene. And if you want more great content like that from I-24 News, just hit the subscribe button. It's as easy as that.